what's going on everyone well we were on the road again in the good old power stroke I had uh say I posted that video I think three four days ago of uh, my stacks and got over 100 views already that's pretty awesome thanks guys um, but anyways uh, last night I was scrolling through marketplace on Facebook and you know I was looking at tractors you know uh, riding riding mowers fix up and stuff cheap ones a lot of people giving them away for free uh, I've missed out on quite a few it's too late but anyways I uh, come across one it was a it's a 70s wheel horse GT 14 and he had it listed as a simplicity obviously you know this guy has no idea what he has what this thing's worth um, so I'm on my way right now to go take a look at it and see if we can't make a deal because those are pretty awesome old tractors and kind of rare uh, that particular model kind of hard to find Ooh. it's a pretty nice Trans Am for sale um, anyways yeah it's one it's one I've wanted for a while so we're almost there just a few more minutes uh, uh, we'll see what happens when we get there yeah, so Got the tires aired up. Not bad shape. We're gonna get it loaded up. Get on home. All right, so we got it. Loaded in the trailer. Uh, we made a deal. I got it for a hundred bucks. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. The thing's pretty sweet. Real big, heavy. Um, I couldn't really tell uh, if the motor is spinning over or not. Uh, I didn't really have anything to grab onto to try and turn it, so uh, we'll mess with that when we get home. Alright, so we made it back home. I've got it in the garage here. I've got the hood pulled off. Uh, I'm going to put a uh, the jump box on it and see if it'll turn over if you know see if anything will work with the key headlights anything like that um, but I'm thinking because I tried to you know see if the motor would turn I grabbed a hold of you know put my palm on this tried turning and I couldn't get it to move and I think I know why I think this clutch went out because it's all unhooked and somebody stuck nails in it to make it tight up against the engine pulley you know so pretty much the deck is just running constantly so uh, I think I'm so I'm gonna put a jumper on it see if it'll turn over if not I'll pull these nails out see what's going on oh also uh, check for spark if it turns over so let's see here okay got the jump box on it turn the key also somebody uh, chained the key to the dash <laughs> it's kind of funny so they wouldn't lose it or something so it's on in the run position let's see do we have any lights no we don't although they may only work when it's running so shut that off okay It's trying to turn over. It sounds like a belt slipping somewhere. Not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull those nails out, loosen that tension up. All right, I pulled the nails out. Now uh, blades are moving smoothly, but still trying to move that engine. It thinking it might be stuck. Unfortunately, Let's try it again. Yeah, something's not right. I think the starter's slipping on something, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think it's definitely stuck. So I guess what I'll do, go ahead and pull this cover off, uh, pull the plug out of it, and Squirt some oil down in the cylinder, let it sit for a little bit. Alright, so we pulled the plug. And if it'll focus, as you can see, there's some rust on it. 
And uh, looking down in there, there's a lot of crud sitting in there. <laughs> I don't know. Not looking very good. But, say, I'll put some oil down in it, let it sit for a little bit. Oh, come on, phone. Okay, good news. I sprayed some penetrating oil in there. And barely even put any pressure on this, and it's broke loose, just like nothing. And if, of course, it's making grinding noises on that pulley over there. But if you listen, we are getting compression. So let's see uh, if it'll turn over with the key now. It's still on. Good, good. Okay, so now I check for spark. All right, so I took a wire brush and uh, cleaned up the spark plug a little bit. So let's see uh, what we got. Good, strong spark. All right. So next step is put that back in and uh, say the fuel tank is full of old fuel. I should probably unhook that fuel hose. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that and take this cover off and spray something in there see if it'll fire. Alright, so as I said a little bit ago, this, or I think I said, this tank is pretty much full. And as you can see, it's a pretty big tank. Um, so what I did is I unhooked that and it's got a mechanical fuel pump goes on the block there so I unhooked the line and was pumping some of the fuel out of it and that's the fuel that's in the tank pretty nasty so yeah I'm gonna have to pump all that out of there before I can go any further because if I try and if I keep cranking on it, every time I crank on it, it you know spits out gas. So I'm either gonna have to unhook the line from the other side, or just go ahead and just pump it all out now. All right, so the fuel line, as you can see, runs over and up into this. Must be a filter, and then that's what runs to the fuel pump. So I went ahead and. Uh, unhooked the line coming from the tank and I've got it running into this milk jug right now propped up on a battery as you can see it's just it looks like orange juice that's terrible so I'm gonna let that sit and drain out and uh, then we'll see if she'll fire also too I forgot uh, I pulled the throttle knob out right there and uh, none of this here moved it was it was uh, all the way like that so I took a hammer and a screwdriver and just you know tapped it real lightly and got it to got it to budge it's pretty stuck this carburetor is probably gonna need to come off and be rebuilt um, but anyways I got it moving at least Okay, so I just had another distraction. Uh, I had a couple of gentlemen come and buy the boat from me. So the boat's gone now. And uh, as I was letting this drain, I've already dumped out a gallon. Or a gallon, half gallon. So I already had that full. And uh, it's filling up again. And I just realized that this tank, literally, the grill is the gas tank. So the gas tank's literally that wide. I mean, this the gas tank of this thing's just massive. Like, I'm going to fill up probably a few of those. But anyways, I don't want to wait around all night. My phone's dying, and I'm going to go in the house soon. But So we're going to spray in here and see if it'll fire.
Jump box should still be on, yep. Okay, here we go. And Jesus has life. Wow. Fired right up like it was nothing. I don't know how long this thing sat. Blew quite a bit of smoke out of it. Wow. Sounds good, smooth. Yeah, that's really exciting. Very excited. So, uh, I guess what I'll do uh, in the next video, I'll go ahead and, of course, finish draining all this fuel, run some fresh fuel through it, try and clean the tank out. And, uh, I'm going to try and pull the carburetor and rebuild it. And then uh, go ahead and once we have it running and idling on its own, go ahead and see if it'll drive and see if the deck works. The deck has uh, got a hydraulic lift, goes up and down. And then of course it's a hydrostat drive too, so that's got a forward and reverse lever. And then for the deck, it's got, you know, down, up, everything. And then I believe this is supposed to be the parking brake. And then, yeah, I guess the clutch. It's got an electric clutch. It's an electric, uh, you know, or clutch, PTO, clutch, whatever you want to call it. There's a button for it. Let's say it's all unhooked, so something obviously went wrong with that, so I'll have to figure that out as well. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Um, let's say I think I've got a heck of a deal on this at $100. I mean, the motor alone is worth more than that, 14-horse Kohler. Um, those are getting kind of hard to come by. You know, one, one's in good shape anyways. Um, so yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, smash that like button if you like it. And stay tuned for the next video where uh, we're, we'll try and drive it and check everything else out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And have a good one.